Hello, everybody. Welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. I am Dr. Truett Wagner. On this episode, we're going to feature an interview and photo session with superstar paraclimber, advocate, and model Matthew Lynch. My name is Matthew Lynch. I This is my third time with uh, Dr. T. And I just came back from... Uh, Moscow, Russia for the World Championships in Paraclimbing, and then LA for the World Cup in Paraclimbing. All th we came from all different countries and all different cultures and, you know, paths, and we just have a love for climbing. And we never really discussed disabilities. We just kind of discuss climbing and cheer each other on. And before the competition, we all went to like the local gym to, uh, work out and you know getting some climbing before the competition Yeah, it's competitive, but it's also it's also just a lot of fun There's the world championships was I represent USA in Moscow though. That is every two years Then there's World Cups. So this year they gave us three power climbing World Cups the first one uh I believe was in Austria in Innsbruck, and then the second one was in uh, Briançon in France in July. But due to COVID regulations or whatever, uh, I don't think we could attend. And plus, it was right around our nationals as well, the first World Cup. So we didn't attend the first two in Europe. And the third and final one of the year was in Los Angeles, two weeks after Moscow. I finished sixth place. Uh, in my category, which is upper amputee. And it was a fantastic experience. It, I was very nervous going to Russia, to Moscow before um, I went there, but going there, everything, it, everybody was great. The competition was fantastic. It was so much fun to see everybody. So Karima, a head of adaptive climbing group, uh, set up some a tour for us like a few days before the competition when we didn't really have much to do. So we did a river boat uh, tour of the Moscow River um, and a tour of like the metro, so that was really cool. And then a little bit sightseeing as well, but a lot of it was like competition related. I want to be able to maybe one day start lead climbing outside. And I also just want to continue to push myself to climb harder routes and just continue to prove to myself that, you know, I could, I could do it and I'm able to uh, bring my athletics to the next level. That's, that's really important to me. And, and thus, get more familiar with competitions and then hopefully improve in ranking. But ranking is semi-important but the most important aspect would be to make sure that you did the best you can every single time and other goals would be to hopefully get other uh, people with disabilities into climbing for the sport more uh, and hopefully help others with with climbing with power climbing you know, when I first started I reached out to somebody and he told me exactly what he what he does, and you know that helped me at first. So I would like to do that for other people if I'm able to. Pro, uh, there was a casting agency looking for people for a commercial. They were looking specifically for power climbers, and they wanted me. They sent they sent it to some people, and then they sent it to our, and then that person re relayed it to our group, uh -huh. and they said, you know, you need. The camera horizontally um, pointed at you, video, talk, and answering some, some questions they had. And then another one where they wanted you to film your reactions thinking of certain things. Right. Well, you know what? And I was just like, I don't know what the hell I like. They're like, oh, when you're excited face. And then like, uh, then you're confident face. Right. And like this, I'm just like, I'll, I, I don't know if it's all the same face, but whatever. I, I sometimes... Uh, crawl up a bit inside because I'm not used to it and I had a, a, a difficult childhood in, in some ways and um, I never had very good self-confidence 
self-esteem. So when, when something really good and something like really something good to me, like I get like a little choked up. I'm like, oh my God, like this means so much. Like, and, and it, it just, it, it, it means a lot, but sometimes like I don't even know how to react. Um, like I was in, a, I was in six pages in Jim Clymer magazine. Uh, this issue um, and that meant a lot and some people read it and then some people in USA Climbing didn't even read it so like part of me is like I'm putting myself out there more and more but then sometimes I don't get the recognition I deserve but then I need to remember that, that you know this isn't a magazine there's probably a lot of people that read it and loved it and just because they don't say anything doesn't mean it's not effective some of the people that want to be affected, maybe they're not, but I need to look at the bigger picture.